Hello and welcome back dear friends, it's me Odo and I'm back in my campaign of Wrath of the Righteous, Pathfinder mm. Wrath of the Righteous. Oops, <laughs> there was a mail message coming in. Um, yeah, last time we built our first building in the city, or oh, we didn't build it, we started to build it. Took some was quite quite expensive. <laughs> um, but anyway. Uh this time we went to the tavern. We went at the tavern already, so that's a new place I didn't see before. Let's talk to I the tavern keeper. I I the tavern keeper. The boy sitting on the counter looks about eighteen. He salutes you with dignity. Though his eyes scarcely rise from the tavern's ledger. The knight commander at my establishment. What an honor. My name's I Keaton. I'm the owner of the Half Measure. How should I address you? I ask because some don't like undue familiarity, while others scoff at the use of ceremony and titles. Uh by my title, Knight Commander, or simply Commander, you can call me the Armored Armadillo, for all I care. <laughs> uh, this is you know, this is pretty chaotic. I I I I don't know why this is not a chaotic move. <laughs> the Armored Armadillo. We are not armored. Look at us. We're probably the, the, I don't know, the haunted hunter or something like that. Um, by my title, Knight Commander or Simply Commander, you can, you may call me by my name. My name is Slarty Bart Fast, so. <laughs> um, you can call me by Philomucus. Uh, what do we do? The title or the name? Or, or does anyone like Armored Armadillo? Um, this is probably... I mean, it's probably more or less the same. Let's take the commander thing. As you wish, commander. So what can I do for you? Wine, a meal, a heart-to-heart -heart talk? Well, if you... Call me Commander. I'm pretty sure I don't like a heart-to-heart -heart talk. Let me see what you have an offer. So we can buy stuff. Axiomatic Keen Darts. This is a plus three dart. What does Axiomatic mean? An Axiomatic weapon is infused with lawful power. It makes the weapon law aligned and thus bypasses the corresponding damage reduction. It deals an extra 2 to 6, 2d6, so 2 to 12 points of damage against chaotic creatures. I mean, why should I take a dart that plus 3? I mean, normally darts are just, you use it them once and then they are gone. The goggles of Malocchio. <laughs> These, are nice. These goggles grant a very plus 10 competence bonus on perception checks. Impressive. Whenever the wearer confirms a critical hit with any bow, the target becomes disoriented. One the Ooh, that's quite good for um, Len. 1d4 rounds, suffering a minus 4 circumstance penalty initiate to initiative checks, attack, attack, and perception. That's quite good, but 30,000? That's quite good. 50,000 ghost touch igniting short sword. Also, um, 
The ghost touch weapon deals damage normally against incorporeal creatures, regardless of its bonus. An incorporeal creature's 50% reduction in corporeal sources does not apply to attacks made against it with ghost touch weapons. Igniting you you can ignite flammable thing. 1d6 flaming damage. And to catch fire upon striking it with a successful critical hit. The target I have to pass fortitude save. Uh, so it will never work only with with characters that are low level and they are dead anyway before this even takes takes X with the web I mean this is this is always this always looks nice but it's just interesting for for smaller creatures and I mean Let's be honest, normally you don't need the igniting to kill the small creatures. I mean, the ghost touch is really good, and it's plus three. But it's a short sword, and the only one who's um, fighting with a sword would be um, she. What's her name? Um, the Valerie in this universe. <laughs> I'm, I'm a bad person. I don't know the name of her, but the goggles would be pro uh, would be probably interesting. I'm not sure if I want to buy them. I mean, we've got the money. Ah, we've got more than enough of the money. Let's buy the goggles. Why not? Let's be a bit agile. Dagger plus one, not. Sure, if we should edge a force, this is yeah. Wolchif will be back. I'm pretty sure about that. So we probably oh, this is nice. Long plus one. What was this? A glaive. Who is fighting with a glaive? Uh, Voice of Hollow bludgeoning damage. It's a, a, a heavy mace. I don't think that anyone would have to fight with a heavy mace. Okay. Um, who? What's that? Adamant time. Full plate. And you've got a half plate of vigor. Uh, minus six. This is an armor. Um, minus four armor check penalty. That's even better. Maximum dexterity one. And this is. Maximum dexterity zero. This plus two half plate granted Sarah plus two enhancement bonus to constitution. Ooh, that's great. Ooh, I'm not sure if this is better than Adamantine. What does Adamantine do? Adamantine is extremely strong and favored by weapon and armor smiths alike. The ability to cut through solid barriers with ease and heavy blows. Armor made from Adamantine grants its very damage reduction of 1 if it's light armor, 2 if it's medium, and 3 if it's heavy armor. Adamantine is so costly that weapons and armor made from it are always of masterwork quality. So. This gives me a, a plus three damage reduction. And the other gives me 
uh, plus to the constitution. I mean, I need the constitution for fortitude saves and for health points. So this is also giving me off point damage reduction. So we'll keep it. Yep. What's that? Let's play plus one. Go away. What's this? Change it. No. Change it plus one. What's this? A full plate plus one. No. 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 Well. Just now 2960. So there is a cloak of resistance plus three. Great. Get this away. Ring of protection plus four. Ooh. Two times this. We don't need that. Um, I don't think that we want to sell something from here. I don't know what all this is. We probably give this into the chest. Except the um, scale, because they can revive us. Ooh. Bag of holding? No, we don't sell the bag of holding. Bulk selling. <laughs> What's this? Suti steel key from the Dresden temple. It's covered in greasy suit, so we probably probably will need it. So we get four thousand five hundred fifty-nine even in the steel. Good. We take some of the potions. There were some potions I really would rather like to have, but. I can do this in between episodes as well. How is it that such a young lad owns a tavern? Before the siege of Dresden, the half measure belonged to a distant relative. I won't bore you with the details of how his family died. Just three words demon worshippers and sacrifice should be enough. Okay. Now that the city has been liberated, the authorities and Iomedes church will be returning what remains to the lawful heirs of the deceased. They take these things seriously in Mandif. The half measure is a strange name for a tavern. Oh, the hat's a family story. It's not for the faint hearted. But you're one of those, are you? But you aren't one of those. Uh one day, before the wardstones were erected, a peasant family got lost on the way to the fair and ended up near the border of the world wound. They stumbled upon a bored demon who killed the father right away. He then asked the mother if she'd prefer him to take all the children, but only half of them. The sobbing woman looked at her three darlings and said, half. The demon promptly cut the arm and legs off all the three children and said, I guess that's even, and disappeared. Hmm. Well, you could have guessed that. People across Dresden heard the story after the family found shelter at the local temple of Iomide. For many years, they saved up for a regeneration spell so the children could be made whole again. They eventually scraped together enough for just one scroll and decided to give the youngest child a second chance at life. He soon became the tavern's first owner and called it the Half Measure in memory of his family and the terrible incident with the demon. He had a good life for a time, got himself married and always planned to help his brother and sister, though he never got a proper chance. When the demons had dresden surrounded, the poor cripples tried to run for their lives, but they died on the spot. The brother and his wife 
died a little later at the hands of deserters. There were rumors that the same demon that butchered the family came to Dresden and made a den of the half measure. If that's true, I guess he got what he deserved when you freed the city. That's a story. Okay. Why do you like sitting on the counter? Do we really have to ask him that? No, probably not. What's the feeling here in the city? Hmm, let's ask him that. I can only tell you about my customers. They are mostly working folks. The ones who are rebuilding what's been destroyed along with the soldiers and merchants. Overall spirits are high, as high as they can be in Man of Nation, of rattling sabers and buttons. Everyone loves it. The demons get their horns, tails and other parts handed to them. They've already forgotten that we nearly lost Canabras. War is like that. People live for one day and that day is tomorrow, not yesterday. You've been a source of joy and inspiration for everyone as well. Simple lad leading the fight against the demons and defeating them. And running rings round all the arrogant queen knights. People like stories like that. What makes you think I'm a simple lad? That's me. Alright, just a simple guy. You must have people and tails commanding armies here all the time, I take it. This calls for a toast, doesn't it? Glad to hear that I'm a source of hope and inspiration. Blah. In fact, people who like such stories really are actually jealous of those arrogant nobles and would be happy to find themselves among them. Uh, Let's ask the first. Hmm. If you're a foreign prince in disguise, drop me a hint or two, will you? That'll give me time to work on my bowing and scraping for when you finally decide to reveal your true identity to the world. What do your customers say about my new powers? Why do they even know? I have to go. So long. Okay, this was not the thing us the I mean we we went here because there was a uh, not a question mark an explanation mark so there must be someone here who gives us some kind of um, peasant noble peasant 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 probably not here Ooh, up there Great boar. Peasant, noble, peasant, citizen, noble, peasant, citizen. Well, we don't see him. There he is. Who's great boar? Do we have to know him? Oh, that's the, the the assassin. Uh, the assassin dwarf. Before you send the start, uh, blah, blah blah blah. Who are you? Don't you remember our last meeting? Yeah, well, I do remember, but uh, I wouldn't have. Uh, I know you are a dwarf. <laughs> but that's that's that. The name is Graybor. I'm an assassin for hire. But I suspect you're not here for small talk. Yeah, well, yes. Are you in need of my services? You tried to kill that huge demon at the Battle of Dresden. What happened? Yes, that was a failure. It was supposed to be a clean job. An anonymous client, a worthy target, a substantial fee. But the client insisted that I use an enchanted dagger they provided. I was assured that a single hit would be enough to finish the job, but it didn't work as expected. It was a serious blow to my reputation. And my reputation is everything to me. I want you to I want to hire you for a dragon hunt. A large adult female. The one that's been snatching people and carrying them off. I've heard about her. That's an impressive target. I can take this job, but only if we do it soon. 
I'm expecting a new assignment from my regular client. And I'll have to leave as soon as I have the orders. And of course, you should know that this dragon will not come cheaply. Two and a half thousand gold paid in advance. How about the small discount? That's pain. Excellent. Let's get down to business. It's no easy thing to take down a dragon when you don't have wings, so you'll need to follow my lead. The best thing would be to catch her by surprise in her lair, but we need to find it first. Of course, since she doesn't leave tracks, that might be tricky, but I think I have a solution. We need to go west of Dresden to the Grimwood Forest. Okay. The dragon's been seen there often. According to the scouts, this is likely because there's still some wild game left in those parts. We'll set up an ambush there. Okay. I hope I can rely on your honesty. I understand that on our way to the dragon, there may be other fights or places we need to visit for various reasons. That's to be expected. However, should I see that you are deliberately delaying the contract, or that you're dragging me off to assault some demon citadel instead of going after the dragon, we will have to revise the terms of our agreement. Yeah, 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 yeah. So he's for hire. Okay, so we got a new companion there. Good. So let's look if he's there to be put into... Ah, there are still people who didn't... No, he's not there. Interesting. Ah, no. There it is. There he is. Hmm. Looks interesting. That crying cold. Dwarven war eggs and the hand So, what's your what's your profession? You are a um, a slayer. I played a slayer in the. Uh, Kingmaker game. He's got this uh, sleep attack. And he doesn't have mythic path, so we probably really don't keep him. Just for this one thing, probably. Plus 17, plus 12, plus 16, plus. That's quite. quite good. Let's see. Um, plus 13, plus 8. Plus 9, plus 4. Plus 13, plus 13, plus 8. Yeah, that's quite is impressive. That's quite impressive. How's my pig? 15 and 10. Pig is also quite good. Strength 32 is also quite good. I see. So, weapon proficiency. Often, uh, no. Abilities. Let's look at the ability. He's a dwarf. Really? Thank goodness. Uh, weapon proficiency. Javelin. Long spear. And spear. And why the, do you do you fight with an egg then? Ah, because that's that's the special abilities you get. There is your feats. Weapon focused dwarven war eggs. Fight this do, does what? Your penalty on attack rolls is lowered. Lessons by. Uh huh. Double slice. Your offhand weapon while dual wielding strikes with greater power. Add your strength bonus to damage roll made with your offhand weapon. 
Ooh, nice. Improved two weapon fighting. You get a second attack with your offhand weapon, albeit at minus hammer. Not bad. Hammer the gap is also good because it makes all attacks in one, and so you only lose one damage reduction. Power attack. This is instant attacking things. Sneak attack. Your sneak attack damage increases by 1d6. Not bad, not bad. Double slice is really nice. Ugh. What traits do you have? Slow and steady. Dwarves have a base speed of 20 feet. But this is never modified by armor or encumbrance. Ah. Hatred orcs and goblinoids. Hmm. Don't think that this will help too much. Yeah, that's okay. Okay. The game is so slow. Ah, oh, I probably need a new computer. Oh, my computer is also very hot. I see. No, I don't see it. I feel it. <laughs> huh? You're outside the. Um, look at that. So what's this? Jewelry Artisan Inn? We were at the inn right now. What's that? Uh, Fawn Autumn Haze. One-Eyed Devil. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Peasant, peasant. More peasants. Nobles. Okay. Spawn Autumn Hay. Let's talk to this guy before we do anything else. A pale, pale skinned elf with grayish hair salutes you with a graceful movement. Greeting, Commander. Why do you have this stuff around you? My hunt demanded that I travel with your army. Naturally, I wouldn't burden your forces with the need air for an outsider. I've provided myself with all the necessity. We talked to him before? I see the aura that ma marks you as a criminal. That's your wrongdoings. Ah, this is the thing I'm seeing. I don't know what you're talking about. I've always followed the laws of my nation. Your mythic power must be deceiving you. However, should you find any evidence of my crimes, I'd be happy to discuss it with you. I have to go. Good fortune to you. Okay, we probably talked to him before, but I, I, I can't remember. Ah, so if we see these things around the people, they did something wrong. There's the jewelry artisan. Let's look inside there. Let's see what we find here. Like, jewelry. Ooh, a peasant and a citizen. Another peasant? I don't think that peasants would be here if there are things to be sold.
Ooh, there's a golden golem. Can we talk to him? Welcome to the shop of Darek Sunhem. Yes, we can. <laughs> the finest jewelry in all of Mandeth. True artistry. Crafted by the master himself. Apprentices. Take a look. Show me your wares, golem. Ooh, rings of protection. Yes. Amulet of Agile of might of alluring curiosity. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Inspired wisdom. The luxury of negative channeling. Less of luxury of negative channeling. Mm -hmm. The luxury of positive channeling. Less of luxury of positive channeling. The wearer of this headband has the ability to channel positive energy. It increases the amount of damage the ability does to undead creatures to living creatures by 1d6 and this does the same with 2d6 hmm. would be quite interesting for the um for you you don't have a headband already Yeah, why not? Emerald necklace. Why should we buy an emerald necklace? Black pearl pendant. Golden chain with diamond. Natural armor plus two. Philomucus. Do you have such a thing? Natural armor plus two. Not bad. Not bad. Uh, land really doesn't need that. Nenyo, what's that? Amulet of Epic Sun. An amulet of Natural Armor plus 2. Additionally, if the wearer possesses the Bardic Performance card ability. Hmm. That's good for the Bard, but we don't have a Bard. Oh, you can't take off the amulet. What's this? Black and mirror. Whenever the wearer of this amulet uses a hex. Oh, okay. Golden medallion. Dark Sunham jewelry. An item of interest in our collector. Really? 25,000? <sighs> For just a piece of jewelry? Not bad. Not bad. Okay. Deal. Let's put it on to you. So then, Len. You get this goggles. <laughs> you look so cool. Okay, then we have a ring of protection plus four. This is action bonus, so it goes to you because you are in the midst of the two ring. You have also a plus two ring. How about you? You've got a plus one ring. Yeah, I know. Let's take the plus one ring then. So, and this is a cloak of resistance plus three. Also, how about you? Can you take this? No, you can't. Do you? Yes, you can. You can wear a cape. Oh, yes. My peak is a cape. That's so cool. You're the coolest pig of them all. Okay, and then we've got this. Oh, you can't wear this. Ah, oh, too bad. 
That's too bad. You can't wear full plate. Interesting. Can you wear full plate? Yes. But you have a an, a battle. Your thing is better than that. Hmm. How about you? You have dexterity plus three. It's probably yeah. You can also not not carry it. Interesting. Very interesting, or probably not interesting. What's this? Rest pay. Mm -hmm. Okay. So that's that. Right, and let's stop for today. I hope you enjoyed it. <clears throat> Next time we'll probably look around even further. There was uh, on the map. There is something called uh, One Eyed Devil. Interesting. No, 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 no. You are the One Eyed Devil. Hmm. Let's talk with this guy. Ah, that's, that's a lot of stuff. A short, chubby tiefling, an eye patch, spit, wing tobacco. Take another pinch from a tobacco box at the moment, world. A fine day to you, Commander. Welcome to One Eyed Devil's trading house. Ah, it's a trader. <clears throat> His proud manner suggests that each word begins with a capital letter and perhaps even continues in capital letters as well. <laughs> Let's show me your wares. Okay, you probably won't have to see this. Let's sell this stuff. Okay, so we'll see each other again soon. Until then, bye!